Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Foxtech, and today we're going to talk about how iPhone organizes photo folders, especially with the latest update in iOS 18. Apple made some pretty big changes to the Photos app in this version, and while not everyone loves the new layout, it's important to understand how things work now. Let's dive in. When you open the Photos app in iOS 18, you'll notice that it looks a bit different right off the bat. There's no tab bar at the bottom anymore just a clean view of all your photos and videos, which are automatically sorted chronologically. It's a straightforward way to see your media, but there's a lot more happening behind the scenes in terms of organization. First, the basics haven't changed much. Your iPhone still automatically categorizes photos into groups like screenshots, videos, selfies, portrait, and so on. These categories are based on the type of media, not something you choose manually. So, whether it's a screenshot or a video, iPhone knows where to put it, and it'll be organized accordingly. Now, when you're in the All Photos view, if you scroll down a bit, you'll see more detailed categories beyond just media types. These include sections like Recent Days, People and Pets, Memories, and others. It's Apple's way of helping you find photos based on context, like when they were taken or who's in them. If you want to customize this setup, iOS 18 has a new feature that makes it easier. Just scroll all the way to the bottom of your Photos app, and you'll find a button called Customize and Reorder. This allows you to reorganize the different sections of your Photos app, so if there are categories you don't use, like shared albums, you can uncheck them to hide them. Or if you want to prioritize certain sections, like your albums, you can move them to the top. One question a lot of people have is about the map view or favorites. These sections have been moved under what Apple calls pinned collections, so if you're missing those, that's where they are now. You can also customize this section by clicking the Modify button, where you can add things like the map view, recently saved photos, favorites, and more to make sure they're easy to access. Finally, when it comes to creating and organizing albums, that process hasn't really changed. You can still create folders that contain albums, and then those albums hold the actual photos. It's been this way for a while, and iOS 18 continues to support this method of organizing your media. And that's a quick overview of how iPhone organizes photo folders in iOS 18. If this helped you navigate the new Photos app, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more iPhone tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Thanks for.